Hello everyone, welcome to 5 minutes knowledge. In this video, we will discuss about a very important topic today that electrical standards. Most of the time, electrical engineers and electrical professional gets confused that what standards to follow, what rules to follow while designing a particular circuit or planning to install any equipment in the industry because there are different standards and rules available in different countries. Today in this video, we'll try to clarify that confusion. Basically, we have five standards. One is international standards, then American standards, then comes British standards, European standards. And if you are from India, then you have to follow the Indian standards. So in any industries, their situation may come so where you have to follow all these standards. That's why you have to have the basic ideas about the standards. So we will now discuss one by one these standards. First, let's say international standards and that is for electrical international standards, it comes IEC, International Electrotechnical Commission. Its head office is in Switzerland, Geneva. So if you go and Google IEC, you will get all the standards that comes under this IEC. And then comes American standards. They are basically two bodies that form the standards. One is NC, American National Standard Institute. And under these NC, there are different bodies. One of them is NFPA, National Fire Protection Association. Under this NFPA, there are various parts. One of the part is part 70, that is NEC, National Electrical Code. This is the part 70 of the NFPA. That is why NEC is also called NFPA 70. Another body under NC is NEMA, National Electrical Manufacturers Association. This standard is mostly followed by the manufacturer companies like electrical manufacturers, mechanical manufacturers and the medical equipment manufacturer companies follows this standard NEMA. This is also comes under ANSI and the another body is IEEE Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and the code and the standard comes under this IEEE is NESC National Electrical Safety Code. Then come British standards BS this standard is controlled by NSB National Standard Body. If you search on Google you will get all the British standards and uh, I can show you some of the standards here. This is the list of British standards that you can get easily from the Google and out of which there are some standards uh, applicable for electrical industries like this one BS33, BS36, 37, BS77 and BS8182, BS546, BS4293, BS4345, 4343, 5839, BS6431 and whatever code you need, you just search these code on the Google and you will get the particular code. So this is the BA standards and then then comes European standard that is EN European norms. These European norms are created by three bodies CEN, CN ELEC, ESTI. These three bodies mutually decided these norms for different industries for different applications. Normally from EN uh, 50,000 to 59,099 there are four different electrical standard with their stand subsections and from 60,000 to 69,999 there are five standards plus all the IEC the international standards so they have added some extra standards with the IEC and form these sections so this is the European standards and then comes the Indian standards if you are from in India and if, then you have to follow these standards in India we follow the BIS Bureau of Indian Standards we also call it IS codes. These standards are maintained and controlled by Ministry of Consumer Affairs. There are different kind of IS code also. Let me show you some of them. There are different kind of IS codes out of which like for electrical wiring and installation you have to follow IS 732 for earthing purpose to select the earthing, uh, to select the earthing and their standards you have to follow the IS3043 for lighting arrestor 3070 like this there are different other IS codes you just have to search this on the Google and you will get the particular IS codes 
for graphical symbols, electrical technology, electrical wiring, fire safety, and industrial wiring for IS3034. Like this, there are different kind of standards for switch gears. For switch gear, you have to follow these standards. For motor control centers that you will get in, the, in any industry, the panels from where motors are controlled, to make that particular MCC, you have to follow these standards. For inverters, you have to follow IS391. For transformers, five standards to follow. For motors, you have three standards to follow. For batteries, you have to follow IS1652. For cables, you have five other standards. And for alternators, you have three different standards. So these are the IS code that comes under the BIS you have to follow. So that's it for this video. This is just to give you an idea about the standards, which standards to follow at what application and in which country.